Seas Chili. I'm going to teach you guys. I'm going to tell the world my secret before I die. You got pinto beans. I do not want to see no kidney or black beans in this chili. And then you got chili powder. Salt and pepper. For right now. That's all I'm showing you. Okay. Now. You got your first ingredients. Now here's your second ingredients. You get an onion and a half. Onion and a half. That use on something else. Raw onion with your chili. Okay, you got a purpose for the other half right there. Now, you know me, I'm time lapsing this video. So look, your onions are not gonna be real small. I don't want them real small. There you go, that's the size of your onion, right? Medium, medium to large, okay? Now, okay, so you see this pan? This old looking grease in it? That's right, it was this morning's bacon. It could even been yesterday's morning's bacon, as long as it was okay. Now, this is actually the heart of your flavor, so don't go, ooh, it's bacon fat, ooh, it's lard, it doesn't matter. You want chili or do you want something diet, all right? Here we go, seize chili, this way it goes. So you heat your bacon fat up, and then you throw your bell peppers and your onions in. I'm gonna go back to the bell peppers and get them ready. Keep watching. All right, here's the next part of the deal here. Banana peppers, sweet ones. You got four of them. And I got, I'm gonna do a bell pepper and a half. So this is about how thick I cut them up. Kinda like, you know, kinda thin. Cause I want to cook them in the oil with the onions and the bell pepper. And then I'm gonna show you seasonings, all right? So, banana pepper, bell pepper. Okay folks, so I got those banana peppers cooking with the bell peppers. Hey, my assistant, can you grab me a wooden spoon please? Sponsor? My sponsor's helping me cook today. She is going to make some yeast rolls. So this is going to be my mom's recipe from North Carolina. Well, this is my recipe from my mom's recipe from her family. And uh, I do a lot of veggies in it because they kind of melt away. Okay? That's why I said make them big. So when you do see them in the chili, they're not going to be overwhelming. Usually I don't use red peppers. I use green. Yellow's good, but the red ones and yellow are sweet and they'll give your chili a nice... You'll see. When you make it, you'll see it. See, it's chili. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. I'm prep cook and I'm the chef today. So here we go. I just got done doing my bell pepper. And usually this, if you get everything lined up, guys, usually this, this uh, chili only takes about a half hour to prep. So I'm doing it real quick, just showing you what I'm doing. So that's one bell pepper chopped up, kind of medium thick, you know? Watch, it's gonna melt away. Okay, secret ingredients, number one, minced garlic. I don't care where you get it from. I can, you can get the cheap stuff, you can get the good stuff, you can get the do-it-yourself stuff, but you're going to use a lot, so watch. Okay, guys, so you got your bell peppers, you got your onions. They're in a secret sauce called bacon fat. And check this out. The vampires won't go near you after the secret ingredients, garlic. Now, I'm not playing around when I use garlic for chili, especially this chili. One one this is a teaspoon you know it's bigger than a teaspoon because it's a regular spoon right two and just in the vegetables i'm gonna put three three large teaspoons you say oh my god chris that's a lot right no it ain't okay keep watching beans are doing good okay people on my pentos i pre-soaked them 15 minutes i turned them on boiled them turned them off covered them for a half hour i took them out i washed them three these are triple wash pinto beans, all right? Now, we're gonna use Goya ham flavored stock, all right? I'm gonna use two of these packages. Okay, secret ingredient number two. Okay, folks, I'm back. <laughs> you didn't even see me leave, did you? But see, that's that uh, pork bouillon. There you go. You don't have to have, you know, a pork bone to cook pinto beans. Now you just use Goya ham stock pork. Goya flavor ham, all natural. Okay, now, you got your veggies going, you got your, right there, a little bit of garlic for the vampires, boom. Okay, see that little bit of chili powder I'm putting on there? Now watch, that's like one teaspoon, right? Well, when I cook here, where I'm from, we measure with our eyeballs, because our eyeballs are real sensitive. 
There you go. That's just for the vegetables for right now. There's more chili powder coming later. Watch it. My recipe. Be quiet. That's the way I make it. That's right. Watch it. Okay, people. So I got my chili powder just for my vegetables. That's just for vegetables. I still got to do meat. I'm doing my beans. Now, I found this little recipe here. Comes out even better with my new little friend called Bijo, baby. Don't ask me. It's great for stews. It's great for meat. So I'm just giving it a heavy dose of Bijo. Bijo is kind of, um, let me see, kind of fluorescent orange, okay? And I'm not cheap with it. All right. Now, also, I'm going to throw my friend Adobe peppered without peppered, okay? Adobe son pimento. Adobe seasoning. All right, guys, you got that? I'm going to spice some of that up in there. Let me show you. This is how I like measuring. I measure like this, people. Like, that looks good. That's my measuring scoop right there. She's from all cooking school. Aha! Okay, and right there, I just used a little bit of oregano grinder. Just a little bit, guys, like maybe a half a spoon. You know, I put a little Italian love in there, you know? I'm a New Yorker. We love Italian love. Italian love. Seasoning from Italy. So now we talk Italian, there's a little bit of basil. Woohoo! Yeah, baby, basil it up! Kick it in a notch, come on! And I don't drink wine or beer while I'm cooking. Because that's how you mess up good chili. But after it's done, I don't know. Sometimes I have wine, sometimes I have a beer. Like I have a beer like every four months. Just because it's like a soda to me, you know? So I got my veggies cooking. I know you're saying, where's the meat? This is chili beans, all right? North Carolina style. Lois Davis's recipe with bless her heart. She is with Jesus. In the <laughs> Remember this commercial? This was a trip, huh? When you drive to Wendy's and order a single, you get more beef than the Whopper or the Big Mac. Clouds, people. She's in this third heavens, hanging out, praying for me. Okay, I'm gonna expose her recipe because I'm not going to the grave with this recipe. You got that? Jesus loves you. <laughs> My wife's making it sound like a diner in here, but this is um, hey guys, all-purpose Greek seasoning. This stuff is awesome for everything: stew, fish, pork. I just put in a little bit because I don't want to go totally Greek. But I'm, you know, I'm Mediterranean it out here, you know. Mediterranean spices are awesome. Woo! And the beans are just starting, so don't worry. The way I do them, it takes about two hours for the beans to get done, so keep watching. You're going to love this. You're going to, you're going to smack your mother when you taste this. <laughs> here we go. Secret recipe, part of the recipe that I don't tell nobody how I do it because I do it different every time. So this time I went in my refrigerator and I found Stubies barbecue original sauce. Tapatio. What's life without tapatio, right? That's like a hot sauce. I'm in California, that's what we have. And you know a little hot wing sauce, just to give it a little punch. And who could live without Black Daniel's barbecue sauce? Because it's got molasses. Sometimes I'll put molasses or honey in it. But today this sauce has all got sweet stuff, so. And I'm going to put like a, um, maybe a tablespoon or two. That's all going to be up to you. Because that's the way I measure. That's the way you measure. And you know what you like and don't like. Now, so over here, you guys have noticed my uh, veggies are doing good, right? So what I'm going to do, i got all my spices in there that I want. And I do the spices with the vegetables. I don't throw them in the stew water. I don't throw them in the bean water and nothing like that. I'm going to move them over gently. See how dry my pan is? You think all that bacon fat's gonna go? No olive oil, none of that. I didn't put none of that. You could use all that, whatever you choose to use. Now people, this is what I'm gonna use for ground beef, right? 73% lean, right? Am I gonna drain the fat? Gonna have a lot of grease, right? So, what I'm gonna use is one third of this uh, five pound deal, okay? Okay, everything's going good. Now we're gonna break up this this meat. 
guys. Notice I got the chili powder and the secret ingredient number one, garlic, out and about, right? So I'm gonna use more. Okay, so that I got my vegetables all seasoned together. Now my vegetables are gonna season my meat and more chili powder. Okay, sounds like a crazy recipe, right? Let me tell you, my mom didn't give nobody this recipe but me. I've changed a little bit of the spices. I added actually some better spices. So, here we go. So now I got that all crushed up, right? I got my vegetables going. So we're gonna smother and cover it, right? And the meat's gonna be on the bottom. Don't worry about oil or getting a dry pan because it's 73%. So we're gonna have a little bit of fat from the hamburger. But since we use some bacon fat, right? So I'm just gonna do that. And I, I, you don't have to cover it. I don't like covering when I'm frying anything because I don't want to boil it. So unless it's, you know, I really have to cover it. Let me see, this is my first recipe that's gonna go online. So you people comment, I need your comments. Tell me I suck or tell me keep putting up videos, right? But I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna make my recipe. So like I was telling you, chili powder, is like, you don't got chili powder, don't even make chili. Look how much I'm putting on here, people. Don't get scared, I don't want it to turn red. Now, don't do that's a lot that's like it's a brand new bottle guys so that's like you know that much that's my measurement for you that's how we do it at Seas Vanilla Kitchen <laughs> my wife's heating up milk for the yeast rolls and I don't think she wants me to film her on the yeast rolls but check this out this recipe goes with yeast rolls I guarantee you full-blown like almost go to the emergency gas if you eat them, it's the rolls with the chili, but it's part of the fun. So hey, you know, magical fruit, right? Magical fruit, look at that. Them bings are loving me. Jesus loving me, my, my wife loves me, my dog loves me, and, and Jesus loves me, my wife loves me. Hey, and I'm making chili in California. What's up everybody on YouTube that know me? Hey, my first recipe, thumbs up. What's up, Malibu? Okay, two more teaspoons of garlic. That's five teaspoons of garlic. I've actually gone, this is a one pound bag of beans, about two and a half pounds of meat, about two and a half pounds of vegetables. So I, I found five spoons is perfect. Um, if you go under that, it's not gonna taste as good. Um, now, what are you saying? What? I'm gonna get gas for a month. What's up with that? I don't wanna eat chili, it gives me gas so bad. My wife throws me out in the doghouse. No, this is what you do. You throw sugar in there. Don't throw pino in there. That stuff don't work. So I'm gonna mix that, that garlic up, right? Slow simmer. This is vital that you do it in the pan. Slow simmer, get those flavors juicing. Okay, no editing on this video, all right? Okay, and I don't know, if you guys send me enough comments and thumbs up, guess what? And it goes viral on YouTube and Facebook. I'll start putting more recipes up. Now, people, I do want to tell you this one thing. If you have Sasson, put a couple packs. If you have it in powder form, you know, be careful. But uh, if you have Sasson, you can put it in the stew or there. But if you don't, you know, the adobe and everything else helps that, too, with the Spanish flavoring. In the Italian flavoring, 
and the Greek flavoring. <laughs> it's called chili, people. Get over it. Now, look, chili really, I know there's 121 recipes of chili in one book I looked at. And so chili is anything you have you need to get rid of. You need a lot of food. You need to put with rice. You need to feed about 300 people. That is chili. And then, of course, is this is northern, this is North Carolina style chili, right? So keep that in mind. Now, people in these bings, they've been cooking for less than a half hour. And pretty much I got all they got in there is that pork. Um, fan kicked on automatically. We've got some steam going here. But anyways, I put that pork in there, right? And so remember, you could use a ham hock. You could use pork neck, pork bones. You could put chicken flavor in here. You could put vegetable flavor in here. You could put all the flavors, chicken, vegetable, and beef, because it's chili. This is the way we do it. It's your recipe, so it's going to have a little variation. But I'm just going to go ahead and put this, that pork bouillon, which, if you remember, was Goya, pork bouillon, jamon. Okay, there you go. See that? Now, we got like a little stew going there, right? So, yeah, I know you're saying like, whoa, what are you going to do with all that grease, Fernald? You know, hang on, watch. Okay, so you asked, you said, what are you, I just moved everything over. You said, what are you going to do with all that grease? Watch, we're just going to spoon this out and drain that grease, right? That's the right way to do it, right, people? Spoon that out. Drain that grease out. Are you out of your mind? What? So you think I'm going to throw... You see that juice? That fat? Right? You can take that off at the end. Let's use it for power. Give that chili some pump. Pump it up. One hand filming. One hand cooking. What a miracle. Woohoo! We got mad skills. Mad skills. All right. First cooking video ever. No editing. I'm a fool, I'm a fool, I'm a fool for Jesus. This is Cooking with Jesus with C for Nall. Might be in my new channel. <laughs> Come on, people, we got it going on. Look at this. I'm already on the last stages of this thing being a masterpiece. You think you're going to jump over this video and learn it another way? It will not come out the same. This ain't going to look like a stew. It's going to look like chili. It's going to melt down into chili. You could put a lot more meat. You could put chunks of steak in there. You could put chicken and beef. You could do it all turkey. All turkey sucks, but don't, you know, don't, that's my opinion. So there we go. And I'm not done yet. Okay, tapatio. Tapatio, tapatio. Hot sauce, guys. You can make a little hot, right? That's about it. Okay. Hot wing sauce. Frank's. Frank, you should uh, send me some free samples. Hot wings, I'm not putting too much, just a little bit. Because they have a certain flavor in there that I like, and it usually works out with my chili. Okay, my dog is already wanting some. She's in there crying. Give me chili! That's some Jack Daniels barbecue sauce, original master blend. Just gonna throw a dash in there. Dash, where you at, Dash? You make a mistake. Oops. Put more if you make a mistake. Remember, this is just enhancers. This is all stoops. Original barbecue sauce from South, from the South. What? Stews is good. About six bucks a bottle. We're gonna give a bunch of stews. I know, I know. Stub stoops. Ah, potato, tomato. It's all the same. My wife like no stubs. It's like stoops. It's stoops to me. It's freight harbor to you. It's harder freight to me. Come on, who cares, right? We're making chili anyways. All right, and last two ingredients, liquid smoke and bouquet. Bouquet, see the Little bouquet. See how I measured that, guys? Precisely the right amount. Now watch, it's gonna give it a nice little flavor. And, so bouquet is not just color. People got that wrong. Bouquet's got flavor. Okay. You're mixing all that bouquet up. You make use bouquet for stews, you could use bouquet for gravies, you could use the bouquet for a lot of stuff. And then liquid smoke, just a few drops, not a lot. Now guys, if you got everything set right, you haven't tasted it. See, you notice I haven't tasted, I haven't showed you I tasted anything. I haven't. I just tasted it and I needed a little salt, so I put about a teaspoon of salt in there. Um, everything's in. Now you cover it and you figure like about an hour and a half. I mean, you don't want to overcook it, but at the same time, the longer it stews, once it starts boiling, you want to turn it all the way down. 
when you scrape the bottom, you bring up the burnt pieces. Don't scrape the bottom. If it starts burning, turn the heat down farther. So as soon as you feel the bottom start sticking, turn the heat down. Let it stew for a couple hours if you have to. But the longer you let it stew, even the next day it's better. So I'm going to serve this on rice with cheddar cheese, sour cream, and pico de gallo. What's up? That's C. Fernal's first cooking video ever. Welcome to my new channel. Woohoo! Subscribe, ring the bell, and comment. I don't even have a channel yet, but I'm going to make a channel, alright? She's cooking channel with Jesus! My best friend.